what is absolutely popping my lollipops you already know it's your girl lola and i'm back with another video so the lord is putting this message on my heart to share um i don't know if you guys remember there was this video that i filmed for you guys is finally the wait is over make your request known to god that is the title of this message of that message and in that message i basically what was i i was basically praying for y'all Okay, the prayer points that um, you guys left in one of my previous videos, I was just catching up and praying for you guys um, and standing in a gap for y'all, just praying, right? And literally that night, that night, I woke up to aching pain, like 4 a.m. in the morning, I woke up to aching pain, like I could not breathe, I was in tears. And in the midst of that pain, I was praying, right? Because I know the enemy attacks me because he hates that I pray. He hates that I pray even when I'm down. And I recorded myself in that miss, like just a, a couple second video, um, just because it was placed on my heart that people think that I don't go through the storm. Like I, I don't ever get down and bad. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Y'all don't know what be going on behind the scenes, but that's why I recorded this video so you guys can see like Lola goes through it too. So I'm about to play it for y'all. I rebuke you now. I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you now. Every spirit of pain, I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. My daddy says that by his stress I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. By his stress I and um what god what god placed on my heart is deliverance prayers psalm 140 psalm 141 psalm 142 psalm 143 and psalm 144 these prayers are for deliverance you guys it, Psalm 140 starts like this. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their hearts continually. Are they gathered together for war? You guys have to remember, though, we, as a body of Christ, we are in war. We are in war. So whenever I do get attacked, I think of Job. Immediately, I think of the story of Job and how I, I, I'm not exempt from that. Job was somebody who loved God and he didn't care what attack the enemy brought. He didn't care what angle, north, west, south, and east. This man kept it up. He kept it strong for God. He cried to God even in the midst of his pain. And that's every time I'm like in pain, like the video I just showed y'all, or every time I'm like just sad or just not in, not in the mood, like just not up to par not the Lola that I want to be at that very moment or the feeling that I want to feel at that very moment, I cry to God. Never stop praying. And if you don't have prayer points, Psalm 140, Psalm 141, Psalm 142, Psalm 143, it's all here. It's all here. It's all here. Psalm 143, Psalm 144. These are all there for you. Pray those prayer points and see how the Lord will show up for you even in your pain. Cry to God literal tears if you have to and just pray scripture. Pray scripture in Jesus mighty name. Oh man, God is so good and he's really showing up and showing out. God is not joking about his. He will show up for you. And yes, the enemy does not want you to have a relationship with God. The enemy does not want you to even find Christ Jesus. The enemy wants you stuck, depressed, full of anxiety, full of confusion. The enemy does not want you to find peace, rest, joy, happiness. No, never. He, does, he knows that you have a guaranteed ticket in heaven as long as you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and you do as God's uh, law commands. He knows that you have a guaranteed seat and he's mad about that because he lost his seat. He lost his seat and he's like, well, if I lost my seat, y'all going to lose y'all seat too. And I'm going to make sure. And the devil does not give up. That's something about him. He does not give up. That man will find any way to slither in because he knows heaven. He knows what heaven is like. He knows the promise. 
God, man, this, this enemy knows the Bible front and back. That's why he's able to use stuff like new age to manipulate people, to confuse people. New age sounds so much like Christianity, a little bit too close to comfort that people now think that manifestation is a bad thing. No, it just means calling it into existence. The word manifestation is in the Bible. The enemy knows the Bible front and back and he can deceive, he can manipulate. So you have to know your scripture. You have to know the Bible too. You have to read it as well. My God, my God. So don't ever think that as a body of Christ, we're not getting attacked. Me coming in, uh, stepping in the gap to pray for y'all. I don't know what y'all are dealing with, what attack y'all are dealing with, but I felt the Holy Spirit in that video, in that prayer. Even afterwards, I was like, wow, like I was like not trembling, but shaking, literally shaking. And um, it's just crazy that the, that not even the next day, like mo hours later, I get this massive attack. It must be one of the people I'm praying for. When I use your name, the demons attached to anybody that I may pray for could transfer you guys. That's why deliverance. Oh my God, deliverance ministry is like, you literally have to be prepared to do deliverance ministry because the demons that you're casting out of somebody can definitely transfer. They can transfer, but they got the right one because I will pray even when I'm in pain. I don't care. Oh, uh, I don't think the enemy gets it through his skull that I don't care. I'm going to pray. I'm going to combat. I mean, com I'm going to combat his nonsense. I'm going to destroy it with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Like I may, I, I can make, I, I can make it look good all I want on camera. But I'm glad that God put it on my heart to record myself in the midst of my pain because, and this was physical pain. I had to go to the hospital that same, like hours later after that video because the pain was not going. I had to go to the hospital and I got my little prescription drug me medication. Like I was in pain and I know it was a spiritual attack. I know it was a demonic attack. Like, I, come on, it only made, it only add up, bro. And the enemy does this all the time. He will attack my tongue. He will attack my lips. He will attack me physically. He thinks that him attacking my health will do anything different. Like, as long as my mouth works, I am praying, okay? And that's why he keeps attacking this mouth. He keeps attacking this tongue. And sometimes you attack my health because he thinks, oh, Lola's too tired. She won't pray now. No, I'm going to pray, fish. Mm. So y'all got to come with energy because the Lord says, put on the armor of God. And the story of Job lets you know, you will get attacks. You will get attacks from the North, East, South, and West. If, if that's what the enemy, the enemy be trying, he be trying. And the Lord wants to see, are you up for this fight? But I'm up for this fight. Are you up for this fight? Okay. So go read Psalm 140, Psalm 141. Psalm 141 is more of you crying unto God. It says, Lord, I cry unto thee. Make haste unto me. Give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee. Let my prayers be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. This part right here, this particular verse, uh, chapter 141 of Psalm is talking about God hearkening and hearing your cry, your tears. He, he, oh my gosh, like y'all go read it. It's perfect for deliverance. If you have to deliver yourself, you can, it's possible. People deliver your, themselves. You don't need people to lay hands on you because sometimes it may be the wrong person to lay hands on you and you may receive more demons. Come on, it's safer to deliver yourself because all you have to do is pray. Praying is not as hard as it looks. The only thing the enemy cannot do is pray. He cannot pray. He can dance. His little minions can dance around. They can sing around. They can do incantations and shout, but they cannot pray. That's something we have. Body of Christ, wake up. We can pray. Let's use it. This is our sword. Pull that sword out, baby, and slash that enemy to pieces because he's going to try you. He's going to try you. Put on the armor of God and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, God bless you as you obey. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.